everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Fleurs and today we're going to be working on my Able Sisters. Last week I did my Nooks Cranny in a Speed Build as you can see here. If you've not checked that out remember to go and watch that as one as well. But today this is where we're going to be doing some decorating. As you can see I've already laid down some white deck. I kind of want to use my Nooks Cranny and Able Sisters to tie in, make it really complementary to the area down below and kind of use sort of the same sort of styles as there so it looks kind of matching but obviously with clothes and stuff like that instead of um, furniture items. As you can see I've got lots of items in my inventory ready to go. What I want is like a sewing area and an area to display some summer clothes which I think would be very fitting for this. So let's get our hard hat on. The first thing I want to do is extend this deck area a bit. It was a while since I had put this down and thinking about it with wanting a sewing area and some area to display some clothes I just didn't think this was going to be big enough. So what I'm going to do is expand out here, make sure that we've got enough room to fit in some items. I really like using this wooden deck. It's very different for me because everything's a bit more like symmetrical and straight lines, which at first I found it quite hard to adjust to because on my previous island everything was kind of very natural and flowy, but now I'm kind of getting the hang of it and not being afraid to put things in like a symmetrical pattern so we're getting used to it but it's still not quite there for the back area here what I wanted to do was use something as a divider so it wasn't just straight back out onto sort of a natural area so first of all I used these climbing walls they're just rotated around so we get that beautiful wood color I did change my mind later on, but they're still a great item to use. So if you're looking for some inspiration to divide areas, then definitely think about using the climbing walls. I also try to incorporate the changing room and the clothes closet, mainly because I love the color and the pattern on the clothes closet, but it just didn't look quite right. So changed my mind on them pretty quickly. This was the point where I decided that actually the wooden bookcases in white rotated looked a bit better than the climbing wall in my opinion so we quickly switched them out. Climbing walls are very tall as well so I, I think that they look a bit better more kind of in line with Abel Sisters actual building. And then in with the fencing just to section off the area. I tried to add in some rope fencing just to kind of try and separate off the area between the sewing and the shop itself. But the fencing just takes up so much room and I changed my mind on that as well pretty quickly. I was quite indecisive during this build so apologies about that. But I think it's just part of the whole designing process where you just pick things up put it back down if you don't like it just change it up I'm sure you all go through the same as well because nothing is ever gonna look right the first time you put it down so I was just trying to find some items that would look fitting back here but I didn't really pick up the right items which was a bit frustrating I did think about using these rattan low tables as the kind of tables to display the items on in the shop area as I thought that they would go quite well with the theme but I wasn't overly sold on them. I probably go through about four or five different tables during this build. I tried using these desks to break it up a bit but again, the white on the den desk is a bit off. It's more kind of a bluey white, if that makes any sense. Yeah. 
It was kind of at this point where I realized that I wasn't gonna get very far with the items that I had on me. So I decided to just drop some things down and go off and fetch some items that would help me build the area a bit better. Okay, so we're back with a fresh inventory of items. Wanted to put the festival, festivale, even garland down here. On the bottom layer, I had two, kind of one at each side, but I didn't quite have enough room for that. And also they kind of do block the view of the item. So I decided just to place one in the middle and I think that worked quite well. And then for the sewing area, the main sort of table that I went for was the table with cloth with this beautiful daisy pattern on and the light blue color. I still really, really like this pattern. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of it at this stage. And I'm just gonna put kind of the main items on there like your sewing kit, your sewing project and stuff like that. Over here to the back, I decided I was going to stick with the kimono stand after picking it up and placing it about five times, <laughs> but indecisive me did decide that it looked good with the ironing board there, just kind of the idea that the steaming or ironing the fabric. And then on the table here, as I said, just putting down some sewing items, so we've got the blue sturdy sewing box obviously a sewing project as well with the sewing machine really cute little table setup I really love how the blues kind of all complement each other I think would have been perfect for this area if I could add any item to the game for this particular area it would be sort of some fabric rolls or something like that I would love to see that in the game and you could customize them I think that'd be really cute one of you guys left a comment about how we should have like more complex DIYs and one of the suggestions was being able to put flowers inside the clawfoot tub. How amazing would that be? I absolutely love that idea. But hey, we can dream. There's so many things that could be added to just give us more options. I would really love to see that. So just finishing off the sewing area here, decided to add another wooden stool and another sturdy sewing box because I love them that much. Why not have two? I decided to go and fetch some flowers. I was finding it quite hard to make a start on this area with there not being any flowers there, knowing that if I had carried on built I would probably have to go and destroy it to add the flowers later so it's a bit odd for me not starting by putting flowers down that's normally kind of my first go-to thing to do when I'm speed building as I kind of think it lays down the area yes Poppy is shouting at me she's so far away though I'm not ignoring her okay I am ignoring her but I can't leave this I'm a busy woman and she wants my attention In the end, I kind of decided to use the ironwood low tables as I did for nooks. I tried out these office desks in the white color. And I did, I liked them for a while. <laughs> so they stay there for a while. But um, again, I kind of changed my mind on them as well. Maybe because they were so high. I don't know why I struggled so much with this area. I think it was just, like I said, about kind of trying to be symmetrical and in such a small area, it is a real challenge. I tried again with the rope fence. It just does clog up the area too much. As much as I loved cluttered areas, it just wasn't quite working. For the middle, I tried to use this floral blue pattern. I wasn't quite feeling it. Then I tried using the custom, no, the in-game path to enable me to put down a circle rug that I wanted to use, but 
the gap with the grass and the path just looked a bit odd. So what I decided to do was use the light blue check that I'd used down at Nooks again just to tie it in, make it cohesive. I decided that on the ironwood low tables I would add the accessory stand and the lacy parasol because I really love that umbrella so it had to be featured. I really wanted to utilise a full length mirror. Perhaps maybe if I had custom designed it to white it might have fitted a bit better, but it was just felt a bit awkward. I also decided to just expand this path a bit more. When I work on the area to the right I will extend it out. So I'm just going to do this little bit for now. And I decided to kind of work it so that the path kind of was over the middle, which was a bit different because so far I've just been doing it on the edges and I actually really liked it. So maybe I need to be a bit more inventive with overlaying the custom designs. another full inventory this time I've got lots of clothing items from Able Sisters I've tried to get as many kind of seasidey beachy kind of wear items that are all kind of in game at this stage we've got things like the swimwear the scuba mask things some jelly shoes which I don't know what they're called in the game are they called water shoes or something but I would call them jelly shoes um, I remember wearing them as a kid. If you do, let me know in the comments as well. I don't think that they were that comfortable, but just always used to wear them in the summer. Anyway, um, so here I am trying to put these items down. I tried a few different ways, just trying to see what would look best. I did like the white desk, but I just don't like the back of it. I think it was just a little bit too distracting. So I tried placing down the two kind of wetsuits and putting a scuba mask in the middle but I just couldn't get that to look right, it used up too much space. If it was a bigger area maybe I would have stuck with it. So in the end we went to our trusty ironwood low table, I just centred it off centered it off a bit from the ones at the front just so it looks a bit different and I tried putting the snorkel mask in front of the wetsuits but obviously the heads are so big didn't quite work this is kind of the setup that I had my in the end I think this is what I was happy with I don't know why it was such a struggle to get that last table in. Maybe it was just me. And then for the left hand side here, oh they're called water shoes, there you go. If you want to know what I mean by jelly shoes, it's them, it's the water shoes. So we've got some summer shoes here. I did think about using just in-game clothing items for this area, but in the end I decided nope I'm gonna use some custom designs so here are some pretty blue dresses that I've added and I really wanted to include the wide brim straw hat because it's one of my favorites so I put that on top of a ironwood chair I'm still trying to make that wooden full-length mirror happen stay tuned to see if it stays there <laughs> I 
decided just to finish up this little area near the top of Able Sisters. So we've gone in with the angle sign and I did just eventually decide that a garden wagon would look good outside of Able Sisters. And then over here to the right of Able Sisters directly, I'm just putting down this circle rug because what I want to do is put down the shell fountain. It drives me absolutely crazy that you can't center it and it is a little bit annoying, but I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, because I think it's pretty. I like it on the rug. Um, it's just frustrating that it's not in the center. But I don't think there's anything you can do. I think that's just the way that the fountain sits for some reason. It would be so much better if it was kind of centered. And then just doing some gardening, planting down some blue and white flowers. As I said earlier, this is kind of where the path would leave, lead off to the next area. And then just need to finish off this bottom left hand side as well. should have done this first of all and I think probably normally I would have done but I just had picked up so much furniture that I just thought that I would try and decorate first of all in future I think I'm definitely gonna try and do more terraforming bits and like planting things first as I do just think it helps a little bit This area around the back I will get to decorating at some point, I'm not just going to leave it like that but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And then there we go, that's kind of the end of the video. I've done the area, as I said I do need to do some work out here but I'll do that off video and just make some natural kind of areas. As you can see we've got the sewing area to the back left really like that area with all the different shades of blue and then here is our shopping section with all of our summer clothes our summer attire lots of accessories so you can come and get your outfit then head on down to the beach and then over here is the connecting area to able uh, to nook's cranny and then you can see what it first looks like when you come up the stairs Yes, that fountain is off. It's still off. I wish we could fix it, but we can't. So we're, li we're living with it. I just really like this area and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Obviously, as I say, it does need some decorating behind and things, but we'll get to that and that's kind of it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please remember to click the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you again for watching, It's I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon for another video, bye bye!